वेलकम टू जेम किम ना टू डेज वीडियो इज एल्किस पार्ट एट वीडियो एंड हियर वी विल डील विद हेलोजन एडिशन टू एल्किस एंड पेरोक्साइड इफेक्ट और खराश एडिशन ना बिफोर स्टार्टिंग इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन एल्किस पार्ट सेवन वीडियो यू कैन वॉच इट आई विल गिव द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एज वेल एज आई बटन अबाउ दिस वीडियो नाउ लेट एस स्टार्ट टू डेज वीडियो नाउ वेन एन एल्किन इज ट्रीटेड विथ हाइड्रोजन क्लोराइड हाइड्रोजन ब्रोमाइड or hydrogen iodide we get corresponding alkyl halide so this is our alkene and this is alkyl halide there is addition of this one that is hydrogen in one place and the halogen in another place now this is carried out by passing dry gaseous hydrogen halide directly into alkene moderately polar solvent like acetic acid can be used sometimes and why not the familiar aqueous solution of hydrogen halide used what is the answer to this question actually when water is added okay h plus is a hard acid so from hx it will prefer to bind with hard base that is water rather than the soft base alkene so it is not preferred now we will see that addition of hydrogen halide to unsymmetrical alkene is regio selective there is a possibility to get two products but we get only one product the orientation of the product is guided by a rule which we know markovnikov rule now the negative part of the addendum will go to that carbon which is poorer in hydrogen that means that the negative part that is x minus will go to that carbon with lesser number of hydrogens in it now such an addition is called regio selective addition so we will deal with the mechanism then we will understand why this is so now see this is a alkene right so when hx is added first h plus gets attached now here the double bond binds with the h plus via a pi complex next what happens there is a formation of carbo cation right and next when x minus reacts then this positive and this negative gets neutralized so we get ultimately our product which is a alkyl halide right now here is the formation of the carbo cation taken as a rate determining step of the reaction and thus the transition state of carbo cation formation is a potential carbocation so the reaction will proceed via more stable potential carbocation at faster rate and consequently the corresponding alkyl halide would be the main product so it can be established by this one see that this for this reaction this is a less stable carbocation and this is more stable carbocation right so the transition state for this lies in lower energy and for this at higher energy so this one is more preferable as the activation energy is less for this one so here the x minus gets attached and it contains the less number of hydrogen present in it so it can be explained through this reaction coordinate and energy profile diagram the reactivity of hydrogen halide is hi is least reactive whereas hcl is most reactive this reactivity order is according to the order of acidity of hydrogen halide now more substituted alkenes will be less reactive towards hydrogen halide than less substituted one so for example 2 butene will be less reactive than 1 butene towards hi addition because more substituted alkene is more stable so the energy required for activation will be more sometimes addition is followed by rearrangement and we will see an example for it okay now see this example we see that this product is a normal product right and the substitution has occurred but in this case the product is abnormal one that is here right why there is a rearrangement occurring within this that is a ch3 from here from this carbon has been removed to this one so we will see how the rearrangement takes place so from here on addition of hcl first there is a formation of secondary carbocation right 
So this is the carbocation which is formed CH3 CH3 and then here there is a carbocation formation secondary carbocation and this is CH2 next what happens if we add first that is Cl minus then there is a formation of required product which we want to get right CH and here a CH3 and here a Cl this will be also CH3 now next what happens if rearrangement is occurred how will it occur a CH3 group will migrate now it will migrate to this carbocation and here positive charge will come so ultimately what we get is like this that is these two are CH3 then this is also CH3 then this is CH and the leftover portion is CH3 CH3 now when chlorine is being added that is Cl minus ion then we get ultimately this rearranged product so this is how rearrangement occurs and this is important which occurs in this case now we will see peroxide effect or Karash effect now if you want to know the history behind this Karash addition you can visit the Facebook page of Gemchem that is at the rate of Gemchem 0051 and see that history already being posted there I will give the link in the description box also now see the reversal of the orientation of addition of hydrogen bromide in presence of peroxide appears to be anti Markovnikov's type and often referred to as peroxide effect or crush effect that is crush addition also now 0.01 mole peroxide is used for this only HBr is capable of showing this effect so these are the points to be noted for peroxide effect now we will see the mechanism now first what happens is our first thing that is chain initiation chain initiation we have already seen for a free radical mechanism chain initiation chain propagation and chain termination right so here for chain initiation we have this that is a peroxide present which on being heated or being provided by light it produces two R O dot next this R O dot on reacting with HBr produces an alcohol R O H plus Br dot now this Br dot enters into the second stage that is chain propagation now we take an alkene and this Br dot gets added here it gets added how it occurs now see this one gets one electron and this one gets another electron now in next step what happens this reaction is being continued by another molecule of HBr and we obtain our product that is this thing on reacting with another HBr then produces our alkene halide that is this one and again Br dot is produced and this goes on same thing occurs this bond breaks up by giving each electron to the each atoms now see in these cases secondary free radicals are more stable so the only product is opposite anti Markovnikov rule so if we take this example that is this one in case of Markovnikov we would have obtained this product that is CH3 CHBr CH3 right but in presence of peroxide we obtain 
this radical being the most stable one and then the ultimate product is just the opposite to that of Markovnikov and the product is CH3 CH2 CH2 Br right now we will see another example suppose if we take this one that is CH3 CH3 and CH2 now in presence of peroxide we get this product that is CH3 CH CH3 and here CH2 Br as the only product only product this is important this is anti Markovnikov product now we will answer a question that is why does only HBr show the peroxide effect now this particular question can be answered by using the delta H values that is heat of hydrogenation we have already seen how to use the values of heat of hydrogenation in our video one of the videos of alkenes so you can see it I will give the link in the description box as well as the I button present above this video now see this one the reasons for these are being reflected using delta H values for the two steps of chain reaction for addition of hydrogen halide to the carbon carbon double bond first we consider for HF if we see this case then we observe that this first step is exothermic whereas the second step is having a delta H positive that is endothermic so for HF addition second step of chain propagation is highly unfavorable as it is highly endothermic reflecting that it is difficult to break the HF bond thus HF does not participate in peroxide effect as the HF bond is difficult to be broken now in the second case for HCl addition we see that this step is exothermic whereas this step is little about endothermic so here the free radical reaction can occur but the rate is very very slow and the reaction chains are short at ordinary temperature so it also nullifies the probability of having a peroxide effect now if we visit for the HBr then we observe that both steps are energetically favorable that is they are exothermic and so thus it shows the peroxide effect whereas the last case for HI we see that the first step has a positive delta H which means that it is endothermic thus it reflects that the energy gained in forming IC bond that is iodine and carbon bond is not as great as that lost in breaking the carbon carbon double bond and thus what happens it does not show the peroxide effect so this much for today thank you for watching please do not forget to like share subscribe and comment